How's it going guys? It's Lupus, and today I'm going to be showing you guys my designs for the potential evolutions of everyone's favorite little furball. Let's take a look and see. Alright, so before I show you guys the sexy evolutions I've made, I'd first like to say that I'm going to be hitting 5,000 subscribers real soon, and in celebration, I want to do a Q&A for you guys. So head on over to my Twitter, which is linked in the description down below, and tweet your question at me with the hashtag AskLoopy. Anyways, on to my designs for the potential evolutions we might see in Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon. Because this is the 20th year anniversary, I decided to pick three typings. Because we haven't had three evolutions in one generation since Generation 1 was released in 1996. This could be a great opportunity to introduce three more evolutions instead of just one, like they did in Generation 6. The first type I chose was chosen more for balancing reasons. Ever since the beginning of Eevee, its evolutions have always had a counter, and were released with its ying for its yang. That is, once again, until they decided to release one evolution in a generation without a counterpart, being Sylveon. So for the first evolution I'd like to see in Generation 7 is a Steel-type evolution, Chromion. That's not robotic enough! Yes, I know. I've seen a lot of Steel-type evolution concepts before, and I know a lot of people seem to imagine it being much more cyborg. But after looking at how simplistic all evolutions have been up to this point, I realized that I have to add small, subtle details that insinuate the fact that it was a Steel-type, and I feel like I did a pretty good job. In order for Eevee to evolve into Chromion, I feel like it would use the same evolution method as Scizor by being traded holding a metal coat. The second and third types I chose have no balancing importance, but would be cool additions that I think most people want. Plus, they both already have counters in the existing evolutions and won't break the chain anyways. The second one is a fighting type Eevee that I call Jabion. I really like how this one turned out, it definitely follows similar trends to a lot of other concepts of its kind, while at the same time having its own unique characteristics. Looks like the Karate Kid to me. Well, the Karate Kid fights, so if he looks like that, then I must have done something right. In order to get Jabby on, I think it would be a cool evolution method to have your Eevee holding a Focus Sash and survive being one hit KO'd and level up in the same battle. The final evolution I made for this video is everyone's favorite idea. The Dragon type evolution, Draconion. I definitely think there are some cooler Dragon type evolution designs out there, but this is what I came up with. The method of obtaining a dragon type evolution could be by having your Eevee holding a dragon fang and leveling up at max happiness. So those are my designs for the potential evolutions in Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon. I hope you guys liked them. And at some point down the road I could definitely see myself doing another video with concepts for the remaining 7 types that we don't have evolutions for. Also, I hope you guys will go on over to my Twitter and submit your questions for my Q&A that will hopefully be out sometime in the next week or so providing we hit 5,000 subscribers, of course. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and please leave your opinions in the comment section down below. As always, this has been Lupus, and remember, stay gold.